Hi, this is Mike Crum 5 and I'm going to be doing a small tutorial on AVI transparency in MovieZoo, more specifically for propellers, for planes and helicopters and such. Um, I know a few people have been wanting to know this, so here you are. Okay, right, the first part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you what we need to do to MovieZoo first of all. MovieZoo by default doesn't like AVI transparency, so we need to tell it different. Um, so this is the, the kind of place where we've installed movies onto this laptop. Yours might be different if you've chosen somewhere else. Um, but basically what we're looking for is my computer, your hard drive, uh, program files, MovieZoo, uh, MovieZoo game, config folder. Uh, within that folder uh, there's a bunch of files. The file we're after is called default game. So I'm going to right click that and open with notepad. Uh, the line of this file we're after is this one here. It's m underscore b strip video alpha equals true uh, and we want to change the last part of that just the last part to false and i'm going to save that um, and that now tells MovieZoo to read avi transparency when we import something uh, we can go ahead and close that now right for this part of the tutorial i'm going to show you how we get our propeller image um, transparent so when we import it onto our model um, it will be transparent when we put it into MovieZoo is very nice so um, I'm just going to very quickly get the magic wand tool and click anywhere in the background uh, and we just want to right click anywhere and select inverse so it just selects the propeller see how it's just around the propeller now and I'm going to control C onto a new and then control V to paste excellent and uh, what I'm wanting to do is just to delete that one. And as you can see, it goes checkered, uh, which indicates it's kind of transparent because we've only selected the, the propellers, so it didn't select any background, so it's making the background transparent now, which is very helpful. And uh, we want to save this as a PNG file. Uh, I'm going to put it into a little folder I've made already called My Propeller. We want to save this as a PNG and uh, this part's quite important. In order to get the next part right, we're going to need to name it a certain way. So I'm just going to call it Prop01. The most important part is that there's no spaces and it's called 01 because we need to make a few of these images. So the next image will be Prop02, then another image will be Prop03, then 04, then 05, and so on. Um, I'm going to make roughly 8 just for this demonstration, but feel free to make up to about 20, 24, 25 roughly. Um, because the more you make, basically, uh, the easier your transparent AVI will be on the eye. Um, it'll be nice and smooth. So that's my first one. I'm just going to hold in Control and put T. Uh, we're going to transform mode. Uh, and as you can see, we get some little arrows. I'm just using Photoshop because I prefer Photoshop. If you've got some kind of um, image editor that lets you use transparency, then that's fine to use that as well. I just like Photoshop because it's nice and easy. Um, and what we want to do is just rotate this slightly for the next image. As you can see, my picture is too big, so I'm going to need to reduce it a little bit um, because you want all of your picture inside the borders of your transparent background. If I can get that there. Then I'm going to hit tick, make it stick, uh, file, and then same again, save as. Uh, if I can navigate to there. Again, it's another PNG. It's always going to be a PNG. And uh, as we've done with the first one, I'm going to need to name it in the same kind of format. So this one will be prop 02. Very important, it's no spaces and then 02. Uh, we save and this part doesn't really matter too much, so just okay that. Um, and that'll do, I'll come back to you when I've got 8. Right, uh, I've done 7, this will be my last one, just for demonstration purposes. Uh, I wanted to show you this last one just so um, you kind of know how to finish it off. You don't want it because we started with the propeller exactly kind of horizontal and vertical. You don't want um, kind of the last one to end that way because it will look jittery. It will look as if it's kind of skipped a frame and went right back to the start. So we want to kind of end it just before it, and that way when it reverts to the start of the, the video again, um, it looks as if it's still turning. So I've saved a bunch of these. Um, I think we started off here, then one here, then all the way around uh, until I got about seven. Uh, this will be my final one here. Um, and again, save as PNG prop eight. Save. Okay, this is the next part of our tutorial um, using Virtual Double. I'll put a link for this in the description. 
Um, this is a free video editor. Uh, this is what we'll be using to make our transparent EVI from the images we created earlier. So we're going to go to File, Open Video File, uh, and find our folder. So we're going to start with Prop01, and what Virtual Double will do is read 01, then go on to 02, 03, 04, 05, 06, and it'll read them all, and then once it gets to 8, it'll just loop when we make the video, so it'll go back to 01. Um, so it'll look like this to begin with, and then we'll just need to change some of the video settings. So first of all, the frame rate. Um, you can mess around with these settings, I just put it on 15 and 30 um, for this demonstration. Um, this is the best part of this, just mess around with it until you find something you're happy with. Obviously if you've got um, a lot more images, I only made 8 for this demonstration, if you've got like 15, 20, 25 images, you want to kind of mess around with this until you get one you, you, you're happy with and that your AVI kind of shows, shows properly. Uh, the next one we're looking for is colour depth. Uh, on the left you want to leave it on auto select. On the right, you want to put it at the top one, uh, same as decompression format, that's fine. Uh, the third and final one is the compression. This part's quite important, you want to leave it uncompressed. Any of these codecs uh, will come out kind of weird looking, so you want it uncompressed, just the top one. Uh, and then save as AVI. I'm just going to call this um, my pop video, and that way when we import it, we know it's uh, like that. Save. And that's it done. Right, so I just want to quickly show you something in SketchUp. I like using SketchUp to model, it's, it's nice and easy. It's a little bit footy at first, it's a little bit complicated at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's dead easy. Um, so this is what I'm going to be using to import my model with. Um, now, imagination time, this is meant to be a helicopter um, for demonstration purposes. All we're looking really at is the, the top part here. This is meant to be the rotors. And uh, I'll just show you very quickly how we're going to make this transparent. It's quite simple. Um, so earlier on, I made um, where is my folder? That's there. Uh, in Photoshop, I just made a, a, a plain transparent image and saved it as a PNG, uh, just a blank transparent image. Um, and what we want to do is just tell SketchUp that this is now transparent. So we'll just grab the Paint Bucket tool. I can show you where I got that from. So uh, Paint Bucket, and then Create Material. And this little button lets you kind of browse for your images, uh, if you've made any, uh, which we have. So we've done the top surface. Obviously, this will become transparent, so it will show right through. So you need to do the bottom surface as well. And uh, if you're doing kind of rotors and stuff, it's always useful just to get the kind of the little edge of it there. Um, or else you'll get loads of little ones around the side, and it's a bit annoying. Uh, and the last little bit for SketchUp, I'll show you. Back to the selection tool, what we need to do is because the transparent image I made was quite small and obviously this is going to be quite large where we import it. We're going to need to reposition and resize it. So I'm just going to single click on the top surface I want, then right click, texture and position. As you can see, if we were to import that, there'd be loads and loads and loads of little propellers. But what we want is just one big propeller. Um, and this is where the kind of trial and error part comes in because you need to kind of uh, mess around with... Uh, oops, that's the pins, I don't want the pins. Uh, you'll need to kind of mess around a little bit with SketchUp um, because there have been a few times where I've, I've kind of thought I've had it online um, on, on the lines of the circle and uh, it comes out a little bit kind of messed up in Mozu. Basically what you're trying to aim for here is um, there's, a, there's a very, very faint square outlined there between the four points of the resizing tool. What you're wanting to do is line up each line or each kind of face of that square with a, a corresponding kind of side of a circle. Uh, and that way when you import it, what you're trying to do basically is just resize one of those uh, one of the, the kind of squares to fit the entire circle. That way when you import your AVI, um, the middle of the propeller will be here, one, two, three, and four propellers, and then it will turn kind of in a nice big circle right there. Uh, that's the top surface again, that'll be transparent, so we need to do the bottom surface as well. Single click and then a right click. Texture up position, as you can see, we need to resize this one as well. And do this quickly. And that's kind of, obviously I'm just kind of racing through this, take your time please. Um, and kind of get used to it. Uh, you'll save yourself some hardship. Um, before you go to import it, I think that's pretty much my line. 
Right, so that's that's pretty much done. Uh, and back to the selection tool. Uh, let me just make this a component. And I'm just going to call it um, Rota Test. Excellent. Uh, right, and then all we need to do is export this model as an ASE file, uh, and then it's ready to get imported into MovieZoo. Right, this is the final part of the tutorial, you'll be glad to know. Uh, and I'm just going to import uh, a little model I made of a, a plane, um, which I used in an earlier part of it, uh, of the tutorial. I'll find it now, yeah, it's there. Um, this is a little bit I'm trying to get to here. Uh, once you go to import something that's got a transparent side, you need to change the alpha channel, which is the map alpha 2 part right here. I don't usually mess with these when I'm importing stuff, um, but we need to change this now because we've told movies we were trying to import some transparency. So what we're after is the opacity. One of these two options here. The opacity is just how transparent something can be. Um, if you put none, it'll just treat it as a solid uh, face and it'll not be transparent. So what we want to do is either make it opacity or opacity mask. I quite like opacity mask. Um, I don't want to touch any of the rest of these just for um, this model. So we'll just put opacity mask and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to click on that for it falls. Um, these are just some basic colors I put on in SketchUp. This is just a basic model I'm using for this demo. Um, so as you can see, this one doesn't have a color. So I'm thinking this will be our transparent one. And uh, I'm going to import our video of our propeller moving from earlier. Yeah, there we go. One plane with a transparent propeller. And see through from the back as well. Tremendous. All right. Uh, I do apologize for my Scottish accent. It can be a bit broad sometimes. If I went a bit fast, I do apologize. These are some more things you can really do with AVI transparency in movies. Um, these are just some basic models I threw together in 10 minutes. Um, so as you can see, you've got a helicopter, you've got planes, you've got cars with the wheels turning. Um, it kind of helps you out with the roads if you've kind of got um, any road work um, in any of your animations or even submarines. Basically anything that kind of you can see turning parts, um, this kind of technique is really useful for it. Okay, so that's it from me. Hopefully this video was nice and easy to follow. Um, but if you've got any questions or queries, certainly leave me a comment and I'll see if I can get back to you um, as soon as I can. Thanks!